What's up guys? So I've never really made a video like this before, but I have to kind of talk to you guys about something because I really don't have a ton of motivation to post draft videos at this point. And I want to talk about why I don't want this to be like a jab at EA because I have really enjoyed this Madden game. Uh, I've played Madden more than I really have in probably years. So I think they did a great job, but there's one thing that like peacefully, I feel like we are allowed and have the right to protest. Why in the mutt drafts, the players don't change. So this is the thing. They now, if you want to draft in mud, which is like, I find it's reasonable because you get stuff back, but now you kind of, you have to pay. You need to get like, it's 15,000 coins or three tickets, which I'm sure they've made quite a bit of money on this mode. Now, the last time that this mode was updated was December. Now that is where my concern comes with the whole situation. I feel like if you're going to have a mode where you're going to charge people to kind of play why isn't it updated and i feel like it would be beneficial for them as well to update so if you guys agree with me on this i'm going to talk about this for the whole video just drop a like down below that way if someone from ea sees this um in some way that maybe they can go relay that information it's kind of a way of us um letting our voice be heard because i'd love to see a new draft mode um no not new draft mode just new players so let's look at like ultimate team right now the players you get in the draft mode are like 93 kirk cousins 90 overall tom brady like you never see any of these guys in the draft mode and part of the reason why i used to find it fun if you don't want to spend money on the game which is fine i do spend money on the game which is why i have a really really solid team um if you don't want that if you'd rather not spend money you should be allowed to do that but still have a chance to play with these guys so let's say i want to play with the new 98 halfback chris johnson and i don't have them well there you go you can just go on the draft mode get have a potential draft mode. it would increase the popularity and i'm just so confused about it guys like i really don't understand how it's been like I started playing drafts in December and it hasn't changed one bit. There hasn't been one update in the draft mode. How hard would it be to do it every two weeks or every month or so and just keep us updated to keep us excited to play draft modes? Also, the other thing I have a problem with, you get the same combinations every single time. If I could tell you guys every single time I've got Jay Ajayi, Todd Gurley, and LeGarrette Blunt as my running backs every single time. And quarterbacks, it's always Kirk Cousins, Ben Roethlisberger or Aaron Rodgers like it's literally just over and over we get the exact same things and the guys we're getting are like 90 to 90 like we're getting this big Ben all the card all the time like these are where the cards are coming from um obviously you can see Kirk Cousins I think he goes for a little bit more but the cards we're getting are like 46,000 um which is not to say that's not a lot but the, the game is so saturated or like throw a Vic in there if you want to keep it 90 throw a Vic throw a call pepper like why you have these players rights why couldn't you just change up the players we get in the draft throw a Derek Carr give us like I know the Cam Newton's in there but I've never seen the Derek Carr um Andrew Luck is in there like these cards are not super expensive and this is who we are constantly getting in the draft so why it's just it's outdated at this point I'm hoping they have something coming um obviously we got a lot of this we get a lot of 90 overall Adrian Peterson like 35k for a 90 overall card in drafts is not super fun. Like, even if you threw Sproles in there, I think that would spice things up. Like, if I went and do, did a draft one day and I saw Sproles or someone, I'd freak out because I haven't seen anything other than Devontae Freeman, LeGarrette Blunt, LaShawn McCoy, all of these guys throughout the whole thing. Like, why is Amir Abdullah not in there as, like, a decent round? I don't get this Todd Gurley as well. It's in there. It's just so frustrating. I don't know, boys. I'm a little bit upset. Uh, I also want to talk now about some stuff I want to try with just the normal ultimate team mode if we're not able to draft anymore. I'm think, sorry, my bad. I'm thinking about like a stardom sit -em type thing. So I play a game and every single game I have to, I can only pick six of my starters to actually start. So let's say next video, you guys will help me by commenting down below. So start even, let's do it right now, just in case next video we do this. Comment down below players from my team that you guys want to start. I'll say the top six comments We'll get to play the other ones will have to be replaced by lower overall so let's say you guys want me to have a good o-line anthony munoz larry allen will shields deardorf gronk and odell okay i think that's six i'd be able to keep them but every other position like carson wins would have to go to like a gold or a silver and then we just have to like pick what's more important so let's say i didn't want a good o-line i could maybe stack my i could leave these six i could have one two three four five maybe and gronkowski i'd have a dominant offense but every other position would have to like my defense would completely have to change all that stuff would have to change i think that would be kind of fun so this is just a peaceful way of talking about something that to me 
is frustrating me and I don't really understand. This is not a jab at EA, anything like to that effect. I just think it'd be really smart for them um, to keep the game's popularity up because obviously the popularity is dying if they were to just add some new players. It's not going to kill them. It's not going to take them a ton of time. Just add some new guys in here. Give us some new players to play with in the draft mode because the draft mode is super fun. The rewards are great this year, Like, but just give us some more motivation to play it. So anyways, God bless you guys. Um, leave a like if you do agree with this. Sorry, this is kind of an interesting type video. It's not like a conventional video that I would normally do on the channel, uh, but it's just something like I want to explain to you guys why you might not see the draft mode as much anymore. And I'm hoping someone from EA sees this and is like, hey, let's just quickly update the draft mode. It'll take, I probably, maybe it'll take like a couple days, but it would be awesome and your community would really, really appreciate it. God bless you guys and thank you all so much for watching.